If you're in the search for the perfect ergonomic chair, there's a good chance that you've come to the conclusion that there are a ton of different armrest adjustments available. But the truth is there are four common armrest adjustments with the difference being how they each adjust depending on the chair. In this video, we're gonna cover those four most common armrest adjustments and show you how some of the most popular chairs arms adjust, helping you decide which is best fit for your specific needs. Confused about office seating? BTAD TV is your number one office seating resource. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Hey guys, Greg with BTAD TV. Here at BTAD, we get a ton of questions surrounding armrests and armrest adjustments. Some of those are more specifically how do arms adjust, what adjustments do I need, and are some designs more difficult than others to make adjustments to? That's the reason why we created this video surrounding everything about armrests and those adjustments. The first adjustment that we're gonna cover is height adjustment. The height adjustment function on an office chair's armrest is one of the most basic and also one of the most common adjustments, but it's very important as it helps to get your arms set in a position to help reduce the stress that would be found on your neck and shoulders if you didn't have the proper support. The first one we're looking at here is a 100 MC chair, and this is using a push button function to make its height adjustment. The next one that we're looking at is on the ME7 ERG, which uses a ratchet function. As you're pulling the armrest up, it's locking in different positions. As you get to the top position, you'll see that it falls. The next one is a Aeron, and it is attached to the backrest. It's using a lever system. You can see this one isn't as easy to make adjustments with, but you're able to move them up and down by loosening the lever on the back and then tighten it once you have them in position. The last height adjustment that we're looking at is found on more heavy duty chairs. This is the 3156HR. You can see it uses a bolt system because this chair in particular has a weight rating of about 800 pounds. The second adjustment that we're looking at is width adjustment. Now this is important as it will help to fit different width bodies and also help with different types of tasks that you might be doing at your desk. The first one and the most common is going to be the arm pad that actually makes the adjustment. And you'll see it here on the Leap V2. You're simply able to slide the arm pad left to right to make width adjustments. Now some other adjustments that allow for width adjustment will be found underneath the seat pad. So when we look at the 100MC, you can see there are bolts on this one and there's a small amount of movement that can be made as you loosen the bolts to adjust width. Now this is probably one of the more cumbersome options available. Next, you'll see there is an option with a knob on the 498SL chair. This is something that can be done from above the seat. It isn't as difficult task to accomplish as the bolts on the 100MC, but it isn't as smooth as the arm pad adjustment. Simply loosen the knob, you're able to make the width adjustment and then tighten the knob again. The last one is the Affirm chair. And again, this is underneath the seat that you can make the adjustment. It's using a lever or a button functionality. So as you press down on the lever, you're able to slide the arms out. Something unique about the armrest on the Affirm chair here is that it does have the adjustment underneath the seat. It also has an adjustment on the arm pad. So this one's gonna give you the most flexibility when looking at the width adjustment on the armrest. The third armrest adjustment that we're looking at is depth adjustment. Now this is really good for users who wanna get closer to their keyboard or closer to their desk as the armrest, because they're depth adjustable, will push towards you and allow you to scoot closer to the desk. Most armrest adjustment when looking at the depth are gonna be like the Akira chair here where the arm pads themselves are sliding back and forth. It, this is also a good adjustment for those who like to recline in the chair and have good arm support. So a good example is when I'm sitting in the 100MC chair, this does not have depth adjustment. As I recline, because the armrests aren't moving in tandem with the back, the gap is widening between the armrests and the backrest, not giving me good support when in a full recline. Compare that to the ErgoHuman ME7 ERG chair, which does have depth adjustment, as I'm reclining in the chair, just because the backrest isn't necessarily moving in tandem with the actual arms themselves or the seat, I'm still getting good support as I'm able to bring those armrests closer to me when in the recline position. The last armrest adjustment that we're looking at is the pivot adjustment. And while this might not be as important as the other three listed, it is still important to those who wanna have good forearm support when they're typing or keying at their keyboard. Most of these will originate from the arm pad itself. So the first one we're gonna look at is the most common, that is the Aeron chair. You can actually see here as it's pivoting, you can see how it's pivoting from almost like the back two thirds of the actual armrest itself. And it will slide because this does have depth adjustment and you can kind of see how it changes as you're pivoting depending on the position of the depth. 
Now the Steelcase Leap Chair has a little bit more unique function when looking at the pivot. So as I move it around here, you can kind of see what I mean when comparing it to that of the Aeron Chair, which we had just shown. Now lastly, the gesture chair from Steelcase. This is going to be the most widely adjustable arm set that we've tested, but you can see as the arms are moving, it's almost exaggerating that pivot function. So this will give you the most flexibility. Understanding the four most common armrest adjustments and how they function will help you decide which is most important when selecting your next chair. For me personally, I like 4D arms or arms that include all four of the most common armrest adjustments that we discussed today as it helps to fit my body for the types of tasks that I do at the computer. But this doesn't necessarily mean it's true for you as well. Now, if you like this video, please help us out and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. We've got more content coming out on office chairs and specifically armrest adjustments, things you need to consider, and what might be the best armrest set for you in future videos. Thanks a lot for watching.